Hey there, if you're watching this video, you probably are wondering how the hell do I piece my life together when it comes down to my health? There's so many pieces, so many industry fads and just lack of clear direction or in which way to work in. And it's set up like that because there's an evident problem with, you know, actually translating and taking data driven decisions when it comes down to all of our health. And I'm going to show you how to change that today. I'm going to show you and give you everything you need to take health back in your hands and to build out a clear roadmap for understanding, you know, how to better train, eat, sleep, recover, etc. as well as how to implement and automate all these systems for yourself so that you can find success with health once and for all and that you never need to think about it. But before I get started, um, I'll just tell you a little bit more about myself. So we have some proof and validity. So I'm not just some <laughs> random guy on the Internet telling you what to do. Um, but essentially some quick things about me. If you watch this here, this will change your life on my YouTube. It will go over my story and essentially a quick rendition of my story was that I grew up in mobile. So due to corruption and Bosch operations in Bulgaria, spent around five years of my life not being able to walk, spent another 15 in active physiotherapy, just relearning how to walk. And luckily I was able to overcome all that getting out of high school at around 150 pounds and then getting up to 230 at my heaviest and cutting down to 215 while also maintaining pretty high level natural athletics, uh, 320K bike rides in the day, 225, there's a 200 on there. And then running as well, 140 half marathon, some other marathons at 30K and also getting into Ironman, 504 half Ironman and then natural bodybuilding too. I kind of took all these accolades and this high performance level and I started with personal training because I tried to be a personal trainer. And one of the biggest problems that I found there is that it's exceptionally unholistic. It's just a one angle, small point of view um, towards the entire picture of health. Now, before we kind of dive in and start picking away at, you know, what health is, how do we change it? How do we adjust it? I'll just give you some validity towards, you know, the company, Optimability, who we've worked with, what we do, etc. So I'll first start with who we've worked with. Um, we worked with people like Zach Oldham, where we've installed an entire team of trainers and chefs, as well as keeping guardrails in place for Zach um, so that he can stay accountable with his health. And I'm not going to go over every single person here, but I'll just give you a quick list of some of these individuals and you can do your own research on your back end about them, what they do, etc. So Zach Oldham, Noah Kent, Alex Zastry, Louis Garose, Jordan Dermingen, Andreas Arias, Joseph, Julio, Dylan Wilson, Nathan Nazareth, Sam Godet. Craig Zawada and Sharik Khan as well. And then it goes into me and Martin. So those are just a small sample size of the people that we worked with. And um, we also do work with businesses, health optimizing business spaces, etc. So I'll kind of explain what that looks like too. But all these things I'm giving you and explaining, um, you know, a little bit more about the company, etc. Just so you get the validity and that piece that you're missing for in your head. Because I'm sure that you've been listening to a ton of gurus and health experts, etc. But you know what? Something doesn't sit right. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't seem cohesive. It doesn't seem comprehensive. And it just seems to be untruthful. Now, that's very frustrating. That's the problem that I had when I was trying to, you know, become a hybrid athlete and, uh, and train and overcome my immobility. I always found that there was something missing. So that's why we created Optimability. Now, if we ask ourselves, well, what even is Optimability? I'll explain that here in a sec. Canva being a little funky. There we go. Nice. Oh, this is not the first slide, but essentially we're creating the world's first fully integrated health ecosystem because there, there are a lot of problems with health. One of the main overarching ones is I find it absolutely ridiculous that in 99% of cases, um, your nutritionist and your trainer do not talk. Now, if that sounds kind of weird or you're asking like, Eon, why, why would they talk? Well, if you show up to the gym every day and you're training with a personal trainer, and then you go home, the personal trainer can, cannot guarantee that you're going to find success because they don't know what's happening in your home. They don't know how you're sleeping. They don't know how you're eating. They don't know how your mental health is. They don't know how your relationships are. They don't know how, you know, where you're sourcing your food from, etc. So health is not guaranteed with the personal trainer. Now, same thing with if you're just seeing a nutritionist or a sleep expert or etc. Or a, or a mental health coach, etc. Whatever. The problem is, is that all of these points, they're data points right? Uh, what the nutritionist sees, what the trainer sees, what the live metrics, like the garments and those things see, they're all small pieces of the puzzle. And essentially what Optimability is trying to do is bridge all of those small puzzle pieces together like this. So 
health is scattered right now. I think that's why people have such a hard problem with it is because it's very unclear. And most of the direction that we're getting from is coming from social media with whole foods diets, which are great, but there's so much of that puzzle piece that is completely messed out and that we're overlooking. So again, just some more validity for myself as well as I'll explain my business partner. Um, I have degrees in nutritional medicine, um, precision medicine and personal training, and as well as I'm a public speaker too. Bike that 320K in a day, 140 half marathon, 504 half Ironman. Uh, again, you know my story, you can read into it more. Dozens of 200K rides. Now my business partner, Martin, same thing, fitness, health coaching certified, powerlifting coach and sleep specialist. Uh, number one lifter in Canada, four-time record power break, <laughs> four-time record breaking power lifter as well. Um, a couple of years ago, he climbed Mount Everest in a day in terms of elevation at Grouse Mountain here in Vancouver, British Columbia in 12 hours and 30 minutes, four marathons in a month, 502 squat, 405 bench, 550 deadlift at around 190 pounds and two Ironmans as well under his belt. So just some more validity behind us. We think that this is of extreme importance because if we're not representing the brand and you know being optimal, then there is nothing else that's there. Now, I explained that puzzle piece analogy a little bit more, but we'll kind of dive into some of the tangibles because I think this is where a lot will stop getting lost in translation. So Optimability does a four-step process. The first thing is we do a full suite biological testing, which just means that we gather as much data as we can. So this counts as data, right? Because it tracks my heart rate and my respiratory rate. So this we can use for tracking the ranges of the heart and what zones to train in. Um, the cool thing with this too, is it also links with our training app, which I'll explain in a second, and it keeps our clients accountable. So it's like once we're, we're inputting the run uh, zones, you know, the watch yells at them to stay in a certain speed or a certain heart rate, depending on their training goal, et cetera. So these are examples of data points, same with the ring. Another example of a data point is blood, because blood gives you red blood cells, testosterone, cortisol, et cetera. That's another window, right? That's a whole other puzzle piece. Another puzzle piece is your DNA. So what your genetics make up of you, what your gut health tells you, um, et cetera. Another one is a DEXA scan, which is a full body scan, which I'll explain in a little bit too. And then vibrant wellness is just the gut that I already explained. Next, we go into a specialist consultation. So DNA, bloods, guts, and DEXA all get a specialist slash doctor, uh, geneticist, physician assigned to the tests where they break it down with the clients. Obviously we're there in the call and they explain, hey, you know, your uh, LH and FSH are really bad. Your body's having a hard time producing those signals to fire and build testosterone. Um, for example, just having a professional explain all these bloods, obviously because me and Martin are seen as like the supervisors, the overarchers in terms of organizing all these things. We're not gonna sit here and swing our hammers and say that we're doctors by any means. No, we just hire them. So specialist consultations, this is Benjamin Lee at 4BPM. Amazing guy, works with the NFL. Um, used to work for 10X Health as well, and yeah, he's a G, et cetera. We go into the data-derived custom protocols, and then based on those protocols, we install the in-house team. Now, this is probably seeming a little bit confusing, so let me explain this a little bit further so that we all are on the same page. Product timeline, we'll, we'll go over this later, but full suite biological testing. We explained it, um, blood work, so gonna go over the blood work, obviously, the DNA, so genetic composition, uh, markers, what you respond best with, uh, gut health tests, depending on your, uh, the, the gut, your, the bacteria balance in your stomach, what those things mean, what they tell us, what your reactivity is to certain foods, what you should be eating, what you shouldn't be eating, etc. DEXA scan. This is the only damn way to get an accurate reading of how many calories you actually need because it breaks down your body composition. And if you're looking online and you type in TDEE or caloric calculator, those are just estimates. This is the most surest way to make sure that you're hitting your calories or build a meal plan alpha, for example. They're 200 bucks, so if you haven't done one, I'd highly recommend go and getting one. And then we obviously do a fitness mobility assessment to see the note, like how mobile someone is in terms of their knee health, their joints, um, their pelvic tilts, etc. So breaking down the product, you can easily simplify this and see it as uh, a surgeon. You know, before a surgeon goes into the operating room, they have a briefing on the client. They, they, uh, they're tracking their heart rate. They're tracking their blood pressure. They know exactly what scalpel they're going to use. They know their incision point. They know what they're taking out. They know what they're doing operating on. I could go on for another 60, 70, even a thousand points of reference. The surgeon is prepared before they enter the room. However, this is a reactive attempt on being healthy. It's not a proactive attempt on being healthy. So what we're building here is a system 
for finding a way to find data-driven analytics for proactivity and health. We're trying to negate all of those side effects, symptoms, et cetera, from arising. That is the whole goal of Optimability, and that's what we're building. So specialist consultations, depending on the specialist, I've already gone over them. We also have a doctor, Dr. Nick Jensen, here in Vancouver. So we work with all these individuals, such as contractors, Harsh, he's our RMT. Now, this is where we start to explain more of like the fitness testing protocol. And I'm gonna get into how you can apply these things for yourself, and I'll show you how to set these things up for yourself too. But essentially, the testing is compromised of different aspects of things. So there's a little fly, fruit fly on my screen there. But gut microbiome testing, caloric accuracy with the DEXA scan in terms of the meal plans, and then a nutritionist overview as well. So a nutritionist goes in and analyzes the meals. We're making sure that we're using the highest quality of cookware and produce, and the chef is preparing the meals in home. And we also implement fasting windows into our meal plans as well. Mobility plans. Now, what goes into this is obviously the movement and mobility texting, testing, the DEXA scan, seeing and scanning for imbalances, the in-person slash virtual physio assessment, injury prevention and fortification. And obviously we ship all this equipment to the client store. And then we program the workouts through training peaks, which is what I was talking about, sinking and yelling at you from the wrist there. We also do have a supplement plan based on the DNA and the blood markers, as well as the specialist consultations. Our clients get a custom supplement plan that tells them, hey, here are the most optimal things that you need to take. On top of taking things like, you know, lion's mane uh, for boosts in mental clarity with B12, brain boosting supplement stacks. This is more of like our, our signature ones, the ones that we highly recommend that people take. And then obviously the housekeeper that we hire, employ, and manage goes in the home and installs all of these things for them with their supplement containers organized there as well. We constantly do retests every three to six months to make sure that we're on track with the bloods, DEXA scan, gut health tests, et cetera. DNA, we only needs to be done once. And then we track the improvements in the training using the watch and heart rate, see how efficient people are, and then live data testing and training as well. So essentially what we're doing here is we're keeping a constant 24 seven hour monitor on the clients. We're seeing how they're sleeping. We're seeing how they're reacting to certain foods, how they like the meals. And we're also managing that in-house team aspect. We're setting up the in-house RMT. We're setting up the in-house chef with the specifics of the meals that we use and that we gathered using data-driven analytics. We're not making guesswork anymore. We're actually taking a data-driven approach towards, oh, okay, you know, um, your red blood cell count is low. It's time to see some healthier protein in your diet consisting of more red meats. That's high in um, higher higher vitamin counts due to like B12, et cetera. Uh, just because if you're eating a low quality produce, for example, you're not gonna really get that absorption rate. And one thing, that's like one example out of thousands that depend on what the markers tell us in those regards. So we set up the in-house team. We also have a dashboard where it kind of combines all these things for our clients together. And I use this analogy quite a bit, but it's kind of like a castle, right? So a couple things I think that people get wrong with health in general is that it seems one thing from the outside, but it can be a completely different thing. So the first storyline that I like to go off of is the fact that a castle. So a castle can be seen from the outside as this glorious, magnificent thing, right? It seems fortified. It seems super prosperous. It seems scary. Let's say we're in barbaric times. If I'm a barbarian, I see this damn thing. I'm nowhere near going. I'm, I'm not going near it. I'm not going to try and invade. I'm not going to try and attack it. Now, the problem with sustaining such a marvelous fortress of engineering in those times is the fact that it can be perceived as one thing, but it can be taken in as another. So let's say I'm that barbarian. I see the castle from a mile away and I stay away from it my whole damn life. Now, 30 years goes by and I see that the castle is never moving. There's no people inside it. There's no, you know, structures that are apparent. So one day I decide to go up to it and I decide to explore it. And me being a barbarian, I'm scavenging the line. I'm trying to find deer every day. I'm, I'm grinding, I'm hustling. You know, it's surviving is hard. And I walk up to the castle because I'm curious after 30 years and I walk in and there's no one there. It's completely deserted. And I find a whole supply of food, et cetera, inside it. So from the perplexion from the outside, it could seem like this is so formidable, but you know, without the people behind the castle to run it, be, be, behind the government, behind all these systems to kind of keep this thing formidable, the installment or the perception of it is wrong, right? We're, we're, we're assuming the wrong thing, just like how somebody that takes a ton of steroids and appears healthy and full is actually crippling on the inside. 
It's the same damn thing with health. We're just not taking data-driven analytics to make decisions anymore. I actually I have a daily team sync here, so I, I need to go in a bit. But hopefully that gives you a better idea of exactly what health is and how to piece it together better for yourself. Now, in terms of school, I've thrown in absolutely every single thing when it comes down to applying these systems for yourself, as well as learning, you know, what is health? How do I organize it? What does it mean? And depending on where you're at with your health, um, you start at level one, go to level two, and then level three as well. This is where you apply everything in terms of getting these systems set up for yourself, the in-house team, um, the nutrition, cookbooks, you name it. It's all in here. So hop into school, it's free. And hopefully that kind of gives you some clarity as towards what we're doing, what we're building, who we're helping, and how we're going to help change the world in terms of how they see health. Yeah, I hope this video was helpful. All the best.